Hey everybody, Boone Wyatt with the 323 Concept Furniture Restoration. You are watching the 323 vlog. Today, as you see, we have a broken frame piece on this chair. And I am going to go about uh, replacing this all together. This has actually been repaired in the past by uh, another gentleman. And the customer wanted to bring it in and see what we could do for it. So, um, as you saw, they there's a couple different things that I am going to do that uh, didn't get done the first time. And... Uh, first and foremost, they didn't use any glue on the frame piece, which uh, I'm a huge proponent of using wood glue. A lot of people underestimate how well that, that holds wood in place. So, um, And secondly, you know, they, they do have these screws going into the frame, but they didn't countersink them, which isn't the end of the world, but I'm going to countersink those. And thirdly, uh, and probably the most important, is I'm going to use a little bit stronger wood uh, they did use some soft yellow pine, and I've got some, some hardwood laying around the shop that I'd like to use. And a lot of the times that holds up a lot better. So as you see, this is what the leg looks like. Uh, real simple. It's got a couple hanger bolts that are threaded into the leg. And basically they uh, basically just push through the, the frame piece. But anyways, here we are cutting the frame piece down to size. I believe those were two and a half inches wide. So I was real carefully just sliding this piece of hardwood through there. All right, so after we get the width cut correctly, we want to transfer uh, the markings from the original. In this case, they were both 45 degree angles, but just uh, be aware your angles may be a little bit different. So you would wanna transfer the, the markings from your original piece to the new one and just make sure that it's, you know, every, every, sometimes those chairs have weird angles and they're not exactly 45 degree. So uh, just transfer the markings and then cut that on your on your miter saw. I would like to note on these really small pieces like this, you definitely want to be careful. Uh, you might even clamp the piece to the fence and not have your hand as close as I am right here. But whatever you do, just be careful. Uh, but anyways, we're going to get this cut correctly. And once I get this cut from there, I'm going to transfer the markings uh, the whole markings from the original piece onto this one and use my drill press to drill those out. If you don't have a drill press, that's okay. Just use your drill and a drill bit. Uh, just enough room for your bolt to slide through there. I usually like to, to use just a give it a little bit of play where it's not super tight on there. So I think these were 5 16 bolts. So I probably went 3 8 inch drill bit on there. So we are ready to attach our leg back in there. I'm going to add a little glue to where the, the leg makes contact to the frame. And then I'm obviously going to apply some glue to the 45 degree angled uh, right angle piece that we've got here. And basically just want to glue all surfaces if you can. And obviously wherever the glue is going to make contact on the wood, you want to make sure that your surface is clean, free of dirt, free of debris, old glue residue. You want to make sure all that's out of the way. Otherwise, it's not going to get proper adhesion. So just lining this up right here, uh, making sure everything's making good contact and uh, get this set in place. And basically from here, once we get it dry fitted, we are ready to uh, uh, get it screwed into place. So if I were to put the, the nuts on these bolts and tighten them all the way without putting my countersunk screws into the corners first, it's going to end up pushing that front rail and that side rail further into the leg, which is not what we want. So basically I'm just getting these hand tightened first and we are going to, once we get those hand tightened, we're gonna countersink and, and pre-drill where our screws go that connect our uh, angle bracket into the front and side rail frames. So here I am using my, this is a countersink bit. I know it's hard to see, but I'm basically using a countersink bit that uh, I think it has an eighth inch bit on the end, but it also drills out a little bit so that my screws will countersink into the wood and get a little better grip. So we got those pre-drilled and here I am putting the screws back in there. You can use just about any wood screws. I am using uh, pocket hole screws. But anyways, we get this screwed into place and I always recommend if you're screwing and gluing, you know that glue will take about 30 minutes to dry, but it really takes about uh, 24 hours to fully cure. So if you can not put pressure on there for 24 hours, that's going to be best for you. Anyways, that concludes our video for today. Just want to thank you all so much for tuning in and watching. I hope this um, brought value to you and helped you through your situation, uh, gave you an idea how to do a repair like this. 
But if it did bring value to you, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, that really helps us out in the good old YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see future videos on any furniture repair, refinish, or restoration, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get updates. But anyways, thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you all next time.